Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Scala tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how we can declare classes in Scala. Now in this video, I'm going to show you what is an auxiliary constructor and how to use this auxiliary constructor in Scala. But before that, I need to show you one more concept about the primary constructor, which is this constructor, which we have defined in the last video. So this is called the primary constructor, which you define with your class. And in the last video, we have uh, seen that when we add this val or var keyword, what happens? So when we add this var keyword, then your member variable have the getter and the setter for this variable. And on the other hand, when we add this val keyword, in front of your member variable declaration. The getter is available for this variable, but no setter is available. So you cannot set the value for this kind of variable, but you always have the setter for these kind of values, right? And we have also learned this keyword private. So when you add this keyword private in front of your variable declaration, then you cannot use the variable outside the class, right? And I also told you that when you don't add any keyword in front of your member variable like this, then there is no getter available for your variable and there is no setter available for your value. And that also means that you cannot use this uh, age variable, for example, outside the class and you can see it gives us the error which says value age is not the member of user but you can use this uh, age member variable which doesn't have any val or var in front of it inside the class as a normal variable so for example i want to print the age then i can write print age and then i can just print the age like this and you can use this printage here instead of uh, using this print line you can just write user dot print age and this is going to print the age of the user like this and now let's talk about the auxiliary constructors so for this example what i'm going to do is i'm going to just use var in front of my member variables and i'm going to remove these two methods from my class and this also I'm going to remove. So first of all, what is an auxiliary constructor? So auxiliary constructors are the alternative constructor for a class. So let's say you want to have a default constructor which doesn't take any input and you want to have a constructor which takes one input, which is name. So how we can define these type of constructor? So we can define these type of constructor with an auxiliary constructor and you can define this auxiliary constructor as a method in the class with the name this so you can just write def and the auxiliary constructor always have the name this which is this keyword right and for example we want to define a default constructor which doesn't take any input then you can just define this and then these parentheses and in the curly brackets there is one condition with the auxiliary constructor. So a class can have many auxiliary constructor, but they should have different signature. So first of all, this auxiliary constructor must have different signature than all the other constructors. And the second condition is they must call the previously defined constructor. So for example, if we want to define a default constructor which doesn't take any input, we need to call the constructor which is already defined. So the constructor which we have already defined is this primary constructor which takes two parameters. So we can call using this the default parameter here. So for example, we can give the default parameters here for the name Tom for example and the age 32 for example right so whenever you define an auxiliary constructor 
you must call the previously defined constructor. Now let's say we want to have one more constructor which only takes one input. So what we can do here is we can define this kind of constructor and here inside this new constructor we can only provide one parameter which is name. So I'm going to just write name and this is of type string and inside this constructor also we will call the constructor which is previously defined so we have two options we can either call this default constructor with no parameters here or we can call this primary constructor with two parameters so name we already have as a input parameter and then we can provide the default uh, age here which is 32 so you can call this primary constructor like this inside this auxiliary constructor which takes one parameter now in order to instantiate all these three constructor what i'm going to do is i'm going to just uh, create three instances of this uh, user class the first instance is going to take the two parameters which is the primary constructor and then the second is going to take no parameter which is going to call this default constructor with no parameters and the third instance is going to take only one parameter which is going to call this auxiliary constructor which takes one parameter so always remember with primary constructors you must have different signatures for your auxiliary constructors and you must call the previously defined constructor inside your auxiliary constructor so this is how you can use auxiliary constructors in scala i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now